Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the seed, ATL Don, check it in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Get friend loose, going to turn off. Talkin' that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we got a pickup that I've been on the search for since August of last year. If you're wondering about the title of the video, Third Time's a Charm, this is actually my third attempt at getting this hat. And hopefully, we finally got it this time. Alright, a uh, little rundown behind the title of why the video is called this. I picked this up originally from fanatics.com. They screwed up and sent me an Oakland A's hat. And it's supposed to have been a Braves hat. Which, you know, majority of the hats on this series is Braves because that's where I live. So, my second attempt, I ordered it off lids.com. Came in, had the right sizing, 7 to 5 eighths. So happy to finally get it. Went to put it on. It was like a kid's hat with the wrong size tagging on it. So upset. So I sent that back. Ended up finding one for that was a 7 and a half that you've already seen on this channel. So I went ahead and settled for that since the hat was so hard to find. Got, every day I log on to all my routine sites just to see what kind of restocks they have or whatnot. And uh, this is a specialty hat that, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. Well, luckily, East Bay did a restock, and they had my size. I tried to check out, and it, when you type in the three-digit code on the back of your credit card, it kept, it kept rejecting it and shoot, shooting me back to type it in again. So I called East Bay, ended up doing the order of the phone, just got it in, crossed the fingers. Let's hope this is really a 7 and 5 eighths and... A, Hopefully they sent me the right hat. With no further ado, let's get into it. This is the first time that the Braves have had a hat they were during a specialty game during the season that I have not been able to get at the end of the season. So you've seen me feature the seven and a half one of this on here. This is seven and five eighths. Let's hope it truly is a seven and five eighths. We'll try it out here in just a moment. For those that haven't seen when I did the review on the seven and a half, once again the emblem on the middle is done in metal instead of being sewn on. Done red, white, and blue to re resemble the American flag. It's kind of got a uh, tri-blend type material look to it and feel. It's very different from the regular on-field hats. Whoever flag on the side is done in like a metallic silver thread. Red button on top. The MLB logo on the back is done in the blue, red, and silver. And if you look at, carefully at the detail, they have stars and stripes in there to resemble the American flag. Got the red underbill, sweatband. I like on these red, white, and blue. They have the sizing and the authentic MLB logo screen printed in instead of sewn in. The only sewn in tags the new era one in the middle. With no further ado, let's see if it truly is a 7 to 5 8 because I've had such bad luck with this. Thank goodness. I finally got one that fits. And if you watched my last video, you've seen that I picked up the Rome Braze version for a crazy steal. Got the, the Rome Braze, the minor league single A affiliate for the Atlanta Braze. I picked this up for 10 bucks. If you didn't see the last video, go check it out. Uh, if this quick rundown on the MLB versions, they have the middle logos on the front. On the MILB, the minor league versions, they have sewn on front logos. Everything else is basically the same. Uh, on the back, instead of on the MLB logo, the minor league uses the silhouette of Jackie Robinson. Same detail with the stars and stripes and everything. 
same sweatband detail with the exception that they had the MLB version has this screen printed in and the sizing screen printed inside the sweatband. On the minor league version, they only screen print in the sizing. They used a patch for the minor league logo. Other than that, the hats are the same. So happy to finally get this in the collection. I will be getting rid of the seven and a half. May throw it on eBay. May do it in a giveaway. Had a side yet? I'd like to thank everybody for watching today's video. Please give a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Until next time, it's your boy Infamous C, the ATL Don, sign out. Peace. Stop.